how to complete pharmacology section for your entrance examination NEET PG, INA set and FMG. Hi friends, I am Dr. Isikesh and I secured a rank of 314 in this year NEET PG exam. And in this video only, I will be showing you the importance of pharmacology section for your entrance examination, the sources and sequences you must do so as to complete your syllabus in minimum possible time. I will show you the only sources that I have done and completed my syllabus after my internship in no time. After that, I will show you some of my one page notes that I made and also I will share some of the notes to you so that it can help you guys. And I will share on my telegram channel ID that I will share in the end. And first of all, I want to say that I am like you only who has just passed his examination and now wants to share the learnings that I acquired during my preparation. So consider me as a friend, as a senior who will share the learnings that I acquired and now directly coming to the video, first we will see the importance of pharmacology section for the entrance examination that we give after our internship. The importance is basically the number of questions. In NEET PG, around 15 questions will come. In INI, around 15 to 20 questions will come. And in INI, more number of pharma and medicine integrated questions. And with other subjects also like ops kind of integrated questions will come. And you can target almost 90% of questions from the concise sources I will be telling you. These are not only concise sources but enough also and maybe it can cover all 100% of questions. So coming to the sequence and sources you should do for your preparation of pharma section. And your target to do the first reading for pharma should be 2 weeks. And your source can be either of the following. Either you can go for the rapid revision or you can go for the BTR and integrated pharma of BTR. See friends, the rapid revision of prep letter will be the best source according to me. The sixth version of it is covered by Dr. Ankit Kumar and he is a previous dance faculty who has now joined prep ladder. And believe me friends, in 15 to 20 hours you will cover the rare questions of exams also. And I have personally done this, the rapid revision of prep ladder and my pharma section felt easy for me during my entrance examination. Now coming to the BTR. The BTR section is for someone who has to cover the course in more cube duration. But remember guys. If some rare questions come in exam, then BTR will not handle it. That's why I use rapid revision as my prime source. Also, after once reading rapid revision, you can do a superficial read of BTR also, if time permits. And you will see most of the content of BTR is in the rapid revision only, but it is presented in a very concise form in BTR. On the other hand, it is sure that all the content of rapid revision is not in the BTR. So my final suggestion for you guys is to do rapid revision of prep ladder as your main content and do a superficial read of BTR so that you can see in a more concise manner the content you want to read. This will help to cover most of the questions of your entrance examination and also if some rare questions will come in the exam then you can handle it by doing this. Regarding marrow, no need to do the pulse section of marrow and also Dr. Ranjan Kumar has made a list of drug of choices of various system in a very systematic manner that you can revise easily. I revised it multiple times before my entrance examination and that helped me a lot. I will be showing you that PDF in the last portion of my video. Now after doing your main content, you have to practice multiple choice questions also and this is a must to do. And to practice MCQs, you have to do the previous year questions as usual. For NEET PG, you have to do the PYQs of 5 years for NEET PG as well as FMG. I emphasize in my every video to do the FMG questions as well if you are preparing for NEET PC. Now for INA you have to do the PYQs of INA both shifts of previous 5 years. First do the previous 5 years if time permits then do the previous 10 years. And if also after doing the time is left then you can do the NEET PC PYQs. After doing all this you have to evaluate yourself. After doing your main content you are practicing and do evaluate yourself by doing either you can do the custom modules of PYQs of these three exams or you can do the subject wise test that will help to evaluate yourself and to uh, the level of preparation in your competitive exam. Now some of my personalized tips that will help to cover these topics more easily and a more exam pattern way. See first tip is generally one to two portion of numericals come from general pharma section and these are easy to moderate formula based question. You can practice them from your ENS section or general pharma section or you can use the BTR formula section. Ma'am has compiled all the formula in one BTR, BTR named uh, formula compiled. You can use that for your uh, numericals. 
After that, one to two questions from practical may come, either in INI or NEET PC. The practicals of rabbit eye experiment or the effect of epinephrine on frog hearts. And that you can cover from general pharma and graph section. I will put the pick of practical section of rabbit eye in my telegram channel and also for two to three graphs you can cover your uh, you can cover these graphs from the BTR graph sections. And now coming to a tip regarding anti-cancer and immunomodulator drug. See guys this is a very long and difficult unit because it has a lot of difficult names to remember. Don't pay a lot of time to it. Uh, in prep rapid revision, sir has covered it very effectively. Mainly the mechanism, side effect, and some typical uses are asked. so cover them from uh, prep rapid revision only, and don't give unnecessary time to this section. Now coming to the new drug section, one drug may be asked or may not, so don't give your lot of time to new drug section also because a very unique or very difficult names are put in the new drug section and it take a lot of time and it may happen that you give a lot of time and you will not remember that drug so only give your time to it when your whole syllabus has been completed then give some of the time to the new drug section i will put a pdf of new drug section on my telegram channel also you can join and see the new drug section also from there only so friends these are some tips you should follow this and try to make your self annotated pdf using the sources and tips i mentioned with the target of two weeks only and one of the most important last tip that i want to tell you is to make concise notes of your mcqs the mcqs you've done from the puiq subject wise test and custom modules do concise them in a single page and attach to the pdf you made for each module you can make a page and attach to your pdf I have made a detailed video on concising your notes, concising your MCQs to into notes. You can see in the description box or you can check the channels. So after that you have your own wholesome notes that you can revise easily. See friends, someone else notes will not help you that much effectively that your own notes. So your target in your first reading is to make your own self notes consisting of the content that I mentioned, the PYQs notes and also some of the tips that I mentioned. So that you can revise it effectively in your last two weeks in a couple of days only. And also friends when you are going to do your second read, do complete in one week only. And with each successive reading you have to reduce the time to complete it. And when you do your successive reading you have to active recall of your sessions you've done previously. And only uh, highlight the points that you are not able to do. And when you do next reading, do revise the highlighted portion first so that it get in your memory and you do the best in your examination for the pharma section. Now friends coming to some of my one page notes and the drug of choice list. See friends this is the drug of choice list uh, from the uh, Dr. Ranjan Kumar Patel pharmacology section and you can see it has alphabetically arranged the drug of choices. For example, Acinetobacter, the drug of choice is Carbapenem. For Acromegaly, the drug of choice is Ectrotide. For Actinomyces, drug of choice is Penicillin G. Similarly, when you come to the B, B alphabet, babiosis, uh, for Babiosis, the drug of choice is Atovacune and Azithromycin. For Bacterial Vaginus, is Metronidazole. And for Bacteroids also. And similarly, for the other alphabets. So, I use this during my preparation to complete my DOC part. And I used to revise it multiple times because two to three questions will be coming from it in a more or less integrated way. So you can also visit this multiple times and I will be sharing this on my telegram channel. Now coming to the one page notes that I used during my preparation. This is the one page note that I used. Basically in this one page, the all four categories of drugs that we encounter in ANS section that is parasympathomimetic and parasympatholytic drug sympathomimetic and sympatholytic drug all the drug names are given in one page only and this page does not cover the topic in detail but the drug names as you know are very much difficult some of the drugs are very much difficult and you may forget with time so to uh, remember for a long run i basically use this kind of pdf so that in one page only i can see all the drug names so that it can get in my mind for a long run and in this way these drugs eventually come to your memory for a long run and you can use this for your preparation also. So for the PDFs that I mentioned in this video, you can join the telegram channel. The link is in the description box and also for making of your MCQ notes, the video that I mentioned, the link is in the description box or you can check the channel. So this is all friends regarding your pharma preparation for your entrance examination. I think 
now you can get an idea how to prepare your pharma section in a concise and effective way so as to do it in a minimum possible time and if you have any query left regarding this video how to make your notes and what to read you can comment down or you can direct message me on my telegram channel or my insta id the link is in the description box so friends be confident study hard and never ever lose hope in your life friends i will similarly in next video on pathology topic and i will tell you the most basic and concise and enough sources also that you can do in minimum possible time and grab the maximum portions correct in your entrance examination as i did till then goodbye and thank you for watching this video if you like the content do subscribe and share the channel